This shows the use of the slimline Yo toric marking gauge, which fits in beautifully into most eyes with narrow palpable apertures, allowing easy marking of the toric axis. The double-ended femto incision spatula is optimized for side port entry at one end and main port entry at the other. It is important to depress down and slightly forward and wiggle the tip from side to side to effect entry. The use of a pre-chopper to complete femtonuclear fragmentation is logical. The original ring pre-chopper of Akahoshi is shown on the left, and the modification I made to debulk the crossover point is on the right. This clip shows the nucleus being easily split with the new pre-chopper which is inserted into the groove and separated, cracking the nucleus. Note how the incision does not restrict the opening of the thinner pre-chopper, allowing complete cracking of distal and proximal parts of the nucleus. The toric IOL rotator has a round knob at the tip, just like a Sinsky hook with a ball at the end. This makes rotating a toric IOL safer as it is less likely to snag on and tear the posterior capsule.